Hi, my name's Sparrow, and today I'm going to look at the colour palettes and how they've changed in No Man's Sky Sentinels. To give this discussion a bit of context, when the new parts came out in No Man's Sky Frontiers, the three main materials each had a very limited range of colours. But then soon afterwards, Hello Games replaced this colour scheme with the more vibrant colours that we see available in the other menus. Most annoyingly, this meant if you changed the colour of a wall, you couldn't actually just change it back again, because the original colours were no longer in the palette. But personally, I don't think the colour palette looked very good. There was a reason for the original colour palette, and that's mostly to do with why these parts existed in the first place. When Frontiers was released, they also revealed settlements to us, and then they gave us the ability to build using those build parts. And if you take a look at a settlement, all of the different colours are carefully chosen so that they can match each other and give a cohesive whole to the build of the settlement. So these are not randomly chosen colours, these are very carefully chosen colours by a colourist who knows what they're doing. And I think they look pretty good together. So I'm delighted to see these colour palette choices back again. The very vibrant colours that we were being given in the interim period between then and now, well, they were colourful, but they weren't necessarily attractive to look at. But now they've given us these colours back in their original palette, there is another issue. And this is an issue that we had originally as well. Certain parts, like for instance flooring, can't be changed. And this seems counterintuitive, because if you have a colour menu, why can't you change the colour? Now there might be an argument for taking away the colour menu on those key items like floors that can't be changed, but I wouldn't like to see them revert to the more vibrant palette. Or if they were going to, then at least give us the option to have both. What's actually happening with a floor is that it's using tertiary colours. If you look at a coloured wall, for example, you can see that there are two colours that come from the colour palette, and then there's also the background wooden colour that they blend with. And then there's the metal parts that are holding the thing together, and they are also a separate colour. Now those two basic colours are just tertiary colours, but they're the underlying colours that unify the entire colour scheme, and flooring is entirely made up of those tertiary colours. So we cannot change the colour of a floor just by changing the colour palette option in the menu. And this seems counterintuitive, but those floors are designed to look that way and to blend with the other parts. Now luckily we can actually change the colour of that flooring, and we do this through colour glitching. If we take a part from another menu and then colour it, and then select flooring from the timber menu, then when we place it, the flooring takes on the original colour from the previous palette. It will take on a tertiary colour from those parts, so it may not be the most obvious colour choice from the colour palette, but it will change the colour. What I have here is a complete colour palette for the timber flooring. The first section contains those more vibrant prefab colours. The next section contains the stone palette, and the last section is the alloy palette. Overall, we have a huge variety of colours we can choose although it's probably a good idea to have a reference, which is why I created this palette. Now personally, I think we're in the absolute best position here. I want to have choice occasionally, but I also like to use these handcrafted colours that somebody has taken a lot of time and effort to put together. And lastly, as this seems to be a controversial topic, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. And even if you disagree that this is the perfect status quo, be sure to give me a like anyway. I've been Pharaoh. Thanks for watching and goodbye.